Once upon a time, in the little city of General Santos, there lived an elderly couple named Pat and Fred. They had been married for over 60 years, and their love for each other was as strong as ever. <laughs> Hi Tring, you're so serious, smile, so you won't look old. Oh, Fred, you always manage to make me laugh, even with that asthma of yours. What can I say Tring? Life's too short not to find the humor in everything. Besides, a little wheezing won't keep me down. Fred, you're too old to do that. They were blessed with nine children. But as the years went by, their children became caught up in the demands of their own lives. Though they loved their parents deeply, they often found it challenging to find a quality time to spend with them. Mom, I'm really sorry, but I can't stay longer today. Work is insane. I promise I'll come by soon, though. It's okay, Nock. I know you have also your own obligation. Just always remember that I am just here, waiting and always available to talk with you. I love you, Ma. Despite the limited visits from their children, Pat and Fred found solace in each other's company. Their love had weathered the storms of life, and they found comfort in the simple moments they shared. Tring, do you remember our trip to the USA? It was a dream come true for us. How could I forget? It was one of the most incredible adventures and happy moments of our lives. To think that we explored a whole new country together. And the best part was being able to visit our children. Seeing them in their new homes, surrounded by a different culture, brought us so much joy. It was like discovering a part of them we hadn't known before. I'll never forget that the tears of happiness, the tight hugs, it was a reunion filled with love and warmth. We were so fortunate to have that opportunity Fred. To see our children flourish in a different part of the world, to witness their achievements firsthand, it filled our hearts with immense pride and to explore the vibrant cities, the breathtaking landscapes, and the rich history of the USA together, it was a dream we never thought would come true. We created memories that will stay with us forever. I am so grateful that we had the time together with them, before we die. It was a gift Fred, a precious gift that we will forever hold dear in our hearts. Tragedy struck one fateful day when Fred passed away. Pet was left heartbroken, feeling a deep void in her life. She found herself sitting alone in the living room they had shared so many precious moments in. Her children, burdened by their busy schedules, could only visit her occasionally. Mom, do you remember how hard Dad worked to provide for us? He never complained, always putting us first. Yes, Nock. Your father was an incredible man. He wanted nothing more than to see his children happy and successful. I wish I could tell him how grateful I am for everything he did for us. The sacrifices he made, his jokes that always bring smiles to our faces. He knew how much he was loved, Nock. His love for you was boundless, and he felt it in every moment you spent together, in every hug and every smile. I hope he knew that we appreciated his efforts, that we understood the depth of his love. Sometimes, I wish I had expressed it more. And you, Mom, you have been our rock. You worked tirelessly, juggling multiple jobs, just to ensure we had everything we needed. You and your siblings were my whole world. I would have done anything to give you the best life possible. You were worth every sacrifice. One year after Fred's passing, Pat's journey in this world came to an end as well. Their children, filled with grief, wept for the loss of their beloved parents. Amidst their tears, they cherished the memories of a loving and responsible couple who had raised them with immense care and affection. Sis, do you ever think about how lucky we were to have Mama and Papa as our parents? Absolutely sis. They were extraordinary. They dedicated their lives to us, always putting our needs before their own. Remember how they managed to raise all nine of us? It wasn't easy, but they did it with so much love and care. They worked tirelessly to provide for us. 
and they never complained. They always had a smile on their faces, even when times were tough. They taught us the importance of resilience and determination. I can't even begin to imagine the sacrifices they made behind the scenes. The legacy of Pet and Fred lived on in the hearts of their children. They vowed to carry forward the lessons of love, responsibility, and care that their parents had taught them. Let's honor Mama and Papa by carrying forward their legacy. Let's be the best versions of ourselves, just like they always wanted us to be. They deserve nothing less. You're right. Let's make time for each other and for our own families. Let's create memories and build strong bonds, just like Mama and Papa did with us. Thank you, Ma and Pa. <laughs> Though Pet and Fred were physically gone, their love continued to breathe through the bonds they had fostered with their children. Their everlasting love story was whispered and celebrated for generations to come. <laughs>